Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's class, I'll discuss how to copy the files to an EC2 Amazon EC2 instance from your local computer using WinSCP. And this will be um, uh, useful when you wanted to do some kind of installation, for example, Oracle RDBM software installation on, on um, your EC2 instance. There are ways where in which you can download the software directly uh, to your EC2 instance. But in case if you are already download the software, then there is no need to download it again on the EC2 instance, right? So you can copy the files from your local computer to um, the EC2 instance using WinSCP. Let's go through the topics. The first step, we'll create an um, EC2 instance and then we'll use that EC2 instance to uh, uh, copy the files. So I'll um, go, I'll take the services first um, from my console and select EC2. I'll not be going through the EC2 instance process uh, uh, completely. I'll just go through um, very quickly and select the instances and then um, select launch instance. Okay, uh, here I'm, I'm stopping that uh, and I, here I'm selecting uh, free tier and uh, selecting uh, Amazon um, Red Hat Enterprise uh, version 8. Okay, now I'll skip many of the uh, topics I'll not be recording because um, this is not a topic on how to create an inst EC2 instance, but I'll come to the last point where in which we are going to use a um, key pair. Okay, so here in the security configure security group make sure that you have enabled uh, ssh and the port number uh, 22 is enabled and uh, in case if you wanted to um, open it for the uh, for the uh, for the entire world you can use the um, this sedar notation or else if you wanted to restrict to a particular ip address you can give that ip address as well okay and um, now we'll we'll click uh, we'll select the review and launch okay um, yeah so we have to um yeah so now we'll we'll uh, select uh, click on launch okay when you click on the uh, launch it will ask the uh, aws will ask you to um, either choose an existing key pair or create a new pair so i'm selecting the option to create a new key pair and i'll give the name for the key pair as let's say um why should uh, server key okay and then once you give the uh, key pair name, you will be able to download the key pair. Make sure that you are downloading to a secure location. Use the option. Do not uh, select the option to open with a notepad or something like that. Just select the option save file. Okay. And launch the instance. Okay. So once you uh, download the um, uh, uh, once you download the key pair, that key pair will not be uh, useful for using uh, with the uh, WinSCP or using with the Putty. So we have to convert that into a, a private key format. For that, we will be using the uh, Putty Keygen uh, file or a, a program. So you just type Putty Keygen, but this program should have been already installed. Um, so once you uh, started the Putty Keygen, then click on load and uh, select the uh, go to the download location and uh, here uh, by default the file name or the type will be uh, putty private key so um, select the option all files and you will be able to see the uh, pm files for example in my case it is why should underscore server key pm file i'll open it and uh, now you can see that the uh, the key information is displayed here and to create a private file, I'll just click on save private key. Okay. Um, it is asking that do you want it to save without a passphrase? That's okay. Just click on yes, because I'll be deleting this um, server after this. So now I'll create a key that is, uh, I'll give a name. Why should the server key? Okay. So this will be a private file. Okay. Now, so what we have now we have launched our uh, EC2 instance. We have downloaded our key pair and we have converted that PM files to a PPK file. Now let's um, go to the uh, AWS instance and then find out the the uh, public IP address of this uh, EC2 instance. So just go to um, services. If, in, if you are in, in any other tab, just go to services, click on EC2, and that will list all the in EC2 instances running on your um, service or under your service. You can see that instances running is one. Just click on it. Okay. 
and now uh, if you click on this instance id it will this, uh, it will take you to the page of or the uh, home page of that particular instance and here you can see that public ip address just copy the public ip address and then uh, start win SCP. I, I assume that you have already installed uh, win SCP. otherwise you can download the win SCP from internet and um, you can uh, use it so here i'll um, go ahead with the, um, let's close this win SCP. i'll i'll start win SCP again Okay, click on new session to create a new session. Um, just click on a new session. Okay, so here you will get the option like a new site. There you give the um, host name. Okay, and the username will be EC2 hyphen user. That is a default user of for the EC2. And now we have to provide or we have to associate the um, private key what we downloaded um, uh, and we, we have to associate with this connection for that select the advanced option and you will be getting on the left hand side there is an option like SSH under SSH there is an option like authentication and here when you click on authentication you will see that um, uh, private key file right so click on here uh, and browse and select the private key which we created for example I have just created why should the server key and now click on open okay now click on ok and if you wanted to um, save you can save this with some name okay yeah now we have uh, created uh, a new session and now if you if we just click on login then uh, we can see that we are getting connected to the uh, ec2 instance which we created Okay, so now on the right hand side of my um, uh, Windows AP window, it is the my EC2 server and on the left hand side is my uh, Windows server. So from my Windows server, I just wanted to copy a file to my EC2 uh, instance that can be a PNG file or it can be an Oracle um, installation file, anything that you can copy. So um, I'll just select a PNG file that is 11G rack and I'll just click on track and keep it here. Yeah, the file is copied. Okay, now what we'll do that we have done this from uh, Win SAP, but now we'll connect it to Putty and make sure that uh, the files are there. For that, start the Putty, uh, open the Putty, and uh, then uh, start a new session. There also you give the uh, host name. Okay, and on the left hand side, you will be seeing that SSH. And uh, when you expand the SSH, there is a tab called authentication. And on the authentication, um, when you select the authentication on the right hand side, you have an option to um, uh, provide the uh, private key. So just click on browse file, uh, browse option. Again, select the private key, click on open. And on the left hand side, you have the connection tab. Under that, there's a, a, a tab called data. Click on data and give the auto login username there you give ec2 hyphen user okay now just click on um, if you want you can save it just go to session and give a name for example ec2 um, server okay. i'll just give why should ec2 server you can give any name whatever you like and just click on save okay now if you click on open then what will happen is that you will get connected to the ec2 uh, instance okay remember we have copied the file to the home directory of the ec2 user so i'll just um, give ls hyphen l and i can see that um, there is a file that's 11g rack uh, png and if i wanted to copy to some other location then i can just log in as sudo uh, su that is uh, root user and let's say i have a folder with the name data right i wanted to copy that files to that data directly so i'll just give cp slash home ec2 user slash 11g rack and then just give dot where in which the file will be get copied if i'm giving ls segment i can so this is a simple straightforward method to copy the files uh, to uh, to your EC2 instance from your uh, local computer, and only the thing is uh, two two important point to be noted: make sure that you are having a key pair, 
and then use that key pair uh, when you are using the Windows CP uh, to copy the files from your local machine to uh, your uh, EC2 instance. Go to uh, in Windows CP, go to advanced topic. I'll just select that option one more time uh, here. When I click on new session, um, I'll select something. Let's say uh, new site. Okay, I'll go to advanced here. And then under uh, SSH authentication, and then select the private uh, key, browse for it, and select the private key which you have downloaded from uh, Amazon console. I hope you guys um, enjoyed the session, and I'll be coming back with the more interesting videos in the next session. Till then, take care.